Whoa! Whoa. That's surprising. Whoa. These are whiskey barrels. This is vodka. This is my electric stallion. This is an episode all about what happens to vodka in a whiskey barrel. Seemingly pretty simple premise here, but there's actually a surprising number of um, variables and criteria that go into the categorizations of vodka and whiskey and different types of whiskey. So mm -hmm. first things first, what's the difference between vodka and whiskey? Well, whiskey has to stay distilled under 160. This is the proof, this is the percentage of alcohol coming off of the, the, the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Spirit. So what you're keeping as you do your distillation run has to stay under 160. Okay. Now vodka has to be over 190. What is whiskey made of? What are the ingredients for whiskey? What's the ingredients for vodka? Whiskey has to be grain. Yeah. Vodka doesn't. When a whiskey, what will eventually become a whiskey spirit is coming off the still, it's absolutely clear, like water. Right. Like for example, Five second whiskey. Now why? Five minute or whatever. Yeah, this is another requirement for something to be called a whiskey. It, it has to be aged in oak. Right, but they never say how long Right. it has to be aged in no. the oak. Other international rules are gonna be different. We're talking about American yeah. whiskey. The joke of this is something that whiskey makers have known for a long, long time. Oh, you yeah. can put it in a barrel for any length of time. Just pour it through a bunghole. And people say things like, well, bourbon has to be at least two years old. If it's straight bourbon, right. it has to be at least two years old. But in the code, right. all it says is aged in new oak. Right. Are you sure about that? Yes. <laughs> now the difference between this and a vodka, mm -hmm. the exact same proof, isn't necessarily five seconds in a barrel. No. Like qualitatively, the taste difference that you're gonna get out of a new make spirit that's going to become a whiskey someday, very different. There's so much flavor, so much saturated sweetness, which in vodka, you're trying to have as little flavor as possible. Vodka, they want purity. Yeah. Whiskey, they want flavor. And whiskey, because you leave all those things in, that's what's interacting with the barrel. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get all this complexity being created in a whiskey barrel. There's distillation proof yes. coming off the still. Yes. There's a thing called barrel entry proof. Yes. Okay. Now, in uh, legal requirements of bourbon and rye and things like that, yeah. it can't go into a barrel higher than 125. That's whiskey. 125 or lower. 62.5%. When you are distilling that much lower, you're leaving in a lot of different chemical components in the spirit. Right. They have taste. Yeah. Right? There's a thing called light whiskey mm -hmm. that's beyond just the 125 uh, barrel entry proof. Here's an example. This is from Lacrosse yeah. Distilling Company. What is Wisconsin. light whiskey? Light whiskey is distilled between 160, yep. the whiskey re bourbon requirement, right? right, and between one and 190, the vodka requirement. So basically, you can go way higher than you can with what you're doing with standard whiskeys. Right. This is actually distilled from grain. Okay. So it's a high rye, and I think it's rye and wheat, if no, I remember correctly. To this day, uh, light whiskey is not a wildly popular, highly distributed. Uh, because the flavors that you're getting, mm -hmm. they're so much simpler and more basic and yeah. thinner than what most whiskey drinkers are looking for. They you want something this, with character there. You know what this is actually closer to? What's that? Scottish grain whiskey. Scottish grain whiskey, which is used to be sort of like the base product for budget blends, yeah. they can distill theirs a lot higher than we can in the US. Okay. And so in grain column spirits in Scotland that are going into blends, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be closer to a light whiskey. So we did two different experiments. Mm -hmm. Let's put the Five seconds, technically whiskey aside. Let's yeah. That aside. Let's get some barrels up here. So the first experiment, this was a vodka we got from Gulf Coast Distillers. Right. And we made the barrel entry proof for this vodka at 125. Right. Same as whiskey. Same as bourbon. Now it can't necessarily be called a whiskey because it was still distilled at that much higher proof. Right. It can't even be called a light whiskey. Right. Because light whiskey has to be 190 or below, and this was distilled. I think we got it at 191. Yeah. So this is truly an experiment of what a vodka vodka does in a whiskey barrel whenever you take it down to the barrel entry proof mm -hmm. of an American whiskey. This has been aged, by the way, kind of important. Six months. Yeah. Six months in Central Texas. In a couple of weeks. And what I'm most interested in at this point, uh, besides the flavor, the color. I wanna see what color this is. Whoa! Whoa!
That's surprising. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. that is legitimate whiskey darkness. Oh yeah. And this is this is more often than not a Texas thing. If this was six months in like Scotland or Ireland, right, would not be even half this dark. Not even. Close. Why is it getting darker in a more temperate climate? The higher constant change of temperature extremes in Texas forces yep. the spirit in and out of the barrel far more often. Yeah in Texas than it does in Scotland. Uh, are you smelling like a chard note in there? It did give it a bit of a vanilla. Yeah, it was definitely vanilla. Yeah. There's no question. There's a wood tree, there's wood, it's like wood burning kit as a kid. Yeah. Wood yeah. burning kit Which and vanilla. Which is surprising. With and then, uh, a very hefty ethanol dish. Yeah, here. with rubbing alcohol and slight like metallic sugar note. Yeah, interesting. I don't want to try it yet, I want to live on the nose. Fair enough. Let's try the next barrel. All right, the next barrel, this was like 190 <laughs> proof. Yes. Uh, right off the still. Nice. Okay, you still got, it's pretty comparable in the color. Ah, it feels lighter. So this is the 190 proof, in no way, shape, or form can this even be categorized as Anything. Anything other than a vodka aged in a whiskey barrel for six months. Yeah, really neither of them come, but you can't even com compare them. Like neither of them can be anything but aged vodka. It smells like there are some flavors trying to fight past that alcohol, but it's just it's so... not working. Wow, it's almost cool. like something went off, like musty funk. It's like between bitter and sour. Yeah, not quite moldy. I'm really not looking forward to it. It's, oh, me either. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah. between the two, the lower entry proof, even though it's the exact same spirit, it mm -hmm. came out of the exact same container. And it is distinctly darker on the lower entry proof. I've had more unpleasant things for sure. I'm getting almost mesquite wood off of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try a sip, but I'm gonna start with the lower one. Oh my gosh, wow. I actually really like that. Can we do the ad? This episode brought to you by Wizard of Bad's partners. These are marketing professionals that specialize in turning small businesses this I is the big bad to get down. <laughs> you can go to wizardofbads.com for free articles and advice. And Alex is super screwed, because I'm not bringing the ladder back. Where are you going? <laughs> what the? That's vanilla icing. It's vanilla icing with wood char. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like straight up smoked vanilla icing. It's still hot. Yeah. It's still hot. It's a smoked cream cheese frosting. You are getting some pretty classic American whiskey flavors out of there with the vanilla. You got, you know, a surprising amount of char. It went up. Ah. It went up to 129 from Now, how is that possible, Daniel? So many like interesting tangents on a, on a seemingly basic premise. How right. could you possibly put a spirit into a barrel and have the proof go up. Depending on the temperature and humidity, right. different things evaporate first out of a barrel. Right. So at lower uh, temperatures, alcohol tends to evaporate first. Mm -hmm. At higher extreme temperatures, water tends to go out of the barrel first. And there's various chemical chemistry reasons for that. It doesn't make sense in fractional distillation right. because alcohol has a lower boiling point in the water. That doesn't make any sense, right. but it happens. And so in America, over time, barrel proof can go up and you can get like a 65% alcohol bourbon, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though it went into the barrel at 62.5 at most, Yep. right? Uh, are you ready for the 191 barrel entry proof? Oh, no. Ooh, I'm immediately. Uh, the, it's just, ow! The warmth. Ah, that's just a hard burn all the way down. And it's, I can't taste anything. Uh, it's just, well, it's a very basic sweetness. Yeah. It's like they took really, really, really hot alcohol and added some simple syrup. It's like it's killing me softly. Between the two, surprised at how much I liked the whiskey barrel entry proof and how much flavor actually got pulled into there. I know, I don't actually mind it. Now let's yeah. be honest, on our other channel, we have another channel where we do nothing but whiskey reviews. Yeah. If we were reviewing that. It's not whiskey. Uh, even if we didn't know it wasn't whiskey. Right. It's what would be very, very simple. Yeah. Very, very basic, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. No. Comparatively, let's do like a whiskey whiskey. That's the, this is something that we have been aging for, was this eight months, nine months? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is the seven month sample. So this is the single mom, the Magnificent Bastards and the Patreon voted on this is one of the first whiskeys we started working on they decided it on is. Uh, maris otter barley yes 50 percent peated uh, yes uh, we used irish peat and it was smoked over at our friends at andalusia down the mm -hmm. road smell that it is just it, pure butterscotch yeah. and the difference is ridiculous did you just pour one <laughs> i only i don't have any more glasses <laughs> This is 
-hmm. It's still at it new, right? It tastes new, oh, the butter, but there's yeah. no major faults in it. It's just the baby. Yeah. Heavy butterscotch, mm. kind of new making musty note. Mm. The malt funk. So good and tasty. Yeah. And a little bit of the smoke like buried around the outside and, edges in the nose. And already, even though they're damn near the same age, mm -hmm. because it went in, not as a neutral and visible spirit like vodka, it went in already bursting with flavors, which mm -hmm. a lot of new makes are gonna be very, very different. They have a lot of different character yeah, this is just flavor layers. And very, very different from the new make, which is what the barrel does. It'll take something mm -hmm. which is, you know, like a moonshine, that right. clear spirit, and over time, it turns into, it evolves into, and a completely different, new, interesting creature, hopefully very tasty. This it, is headed in a really nice direction. Try it. it is young. And there's sm the smoke shows oh. up, wrapped around the outside edges of the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Another thing we did with the Patreon, um, because we have a tasting room and we're serving all kinds of drinks in the tasting mm -hmm. room, little known rule amongst distilleries. Mm -hmm. If you have a tasting in Texas, room, if you have a tasting room, you can only sell stuff that you bottled. Yep. Yeah, we can't stock it with um, like, gin and vermouth yeah. and yeah, yeah. spritzers or you know any kind of sh we didn't make. So we want to have like a full bar, so the magnificent bastards in the whiskey tribe can always uh, feel free to come here with a significant other who may not necessarily be into whiskey, but there's still a lot of options for them. So we made a vodka that's going to be in the tasting room. Yes. What did we decide? To this call is the it same vodka. tote of Gulf Coast Distillery as vodka. Proof down to 40% alcohol, 80 proof. This, I'm not you're, not, you're not a vodka guy. I'm not a vodka guy. No. I'm a good label guy. That's a good label. That's a great label. So Curtis Bailey sent in the original sketch yeah, for this. Yeah, we asked the MBs and Patreon, I was like, hey, send us some silly gooses. It can be the worst, you know, cringy, poorly drawn. We just need it to be kind of funny. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care. And then Just Curtis throws down like this amazing illustration of a very silly goose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we took Curtis Bailey's design and we gave it to our designers and they wrapped a whole label around it, yes. basically. So this is the first time we're cracking open. Yeah. Like actually in a bottle. Yeah. Okay, because we've had it outside the bottle. Here, have some vodka. Yeah, all right. It should taste and smell like, nothing. like absolutely nothing. Oh, it's just kind of sweet. Oh, there is some nice sweetness. Wow. That's really. Yeah. That is really freaking good. Finally, I think it would be very cool to go exploring. Spelunking, Daniel. Spelunking? Spelunking. See what vodka did? We got a special lens. Here, we're, who has a lens? Oh, it really is a lens. Like, it attaches yeah. to a camera. So we have this special lens. It's a probe lens. We're going to send the lens down inside the barrel, some LED lights, to see what it looks like inside the barrel. We've never done this. We've not. OK, Daniel. Uh, you ready? Okay, fellas. Fancy Dan and hands got us set up. So here's the outside of the barrel. Going in, see the reflection of the LED light at the end of the lens there. And then... Using the whole hand, Doc? <laughs> uh, almost there. Boom. Boom, we are, oh, got a bubble? What is that? There's a bubble. It did right, attach to the lens. We got the bubble off. <laughs> okay. Oh, right oh there it is. Yeah. So it's that, like Mars. That's the wall of the barrel, and it's a super ambery red color. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's really dark because barrels are charred on the inside. Yes, they are. They're charred for filtration, for increasing surface area, and for chemical interaction with the spirit, and then caramelizing that sugar, wood sugar layer. Yeah, whiskey would be much, much different if it wasn't burnt on the inside. You need that. Well, you can taste what that tastes like if you try corn whiskey, which has to be done in used or uncharred oak. Daniel, you've known me for a long time. Yes. I have just one request. <laughs> Probe me. Oh, no! Yeah.